everyone, this is The Hobbyist and today we're talking about the fake 1906 1 peso USPI. So previously I created a video about the fake 1903S one piece of USPI. Even the seller thought that it was a legit one because the design is really similar to the original one. And just recently I also got the 1903S one piece of which is the most common fake 1903. It was given to me for free by one of my friend who sells a lot of foreign coins and banknotes Verlac and Apon. So he gave me this 1903S and obviously it is a fake one. You just need to look on the leaves below the eagle and you will see that it is really fake because the leaves are broad compared to the leaves of the, the original 1903S. So because of that I have two different fake 1903S. Now it is seldom seen on coin collection group because it was forbidden by most of the coin collection group to show fake 1906 but in Lazada there are a lot of 1906 one piece coin which are fake that you could buy for 100 pesos each so I tried buying them and I want to experience how it looks like how it feels like so basically I just bought three of them so these are the three coins that I bought basically this one is around 300 pesos it really looks like a coin if you don't know anything about the USPI coins but the thing is since I have a lot of USPI coins now it is really noticeable that it is a fake coin especially the eagle doesn't look like an eagle it looks like a turkey so if you look into here it, you could easily see the image of the eagle but there are people who are getting this coin and they're thinking that this is an original one and most of them saw Jessica Saw's video about the most expensive one piece of coin which is also the 1906 but the 1906 that costs almost a million pesos is not a 1906 which looks like this but a legit proof 1906 so there are two types of 1906, the 1906S and the 1906 proof which only have 500 pieces. For the 1906S, I saw someone sold one coin for around 235,000 for one coin. And obviously for the 1906 proof, the cost is much higher. The last time that I saw someone sold a 1906 for at around half a million pesos and obviously right now you can see it on public so most of the transaction for this kind of coin is only held in private auctions or maybe some of the elite collectors here in the Philippines and abroad because it is a really rare coin so basically if you see a 1906 from someone who just started collecting coins it's 99% that they have this coin which is a fake one from Lazada and the spare 1% are those people who are just lucky that their grandparents collect coins and with their luck they have the 1906 which is not that common right now but I believe that there are people who would be like that because previously I had a lot of transactions of people who had a lot of coins and banknotes and when I asked them where did these coins and banknotes came from they said that it is from their grandparents so again on Lazada, they are selling this type of coins and most of these coins are coming from China. And it is well known that China had created a lot of fake coins. And it is possible that my 1903S fake coin comes from China. It's not just Philippine coins. There's also a lot of fake silver coins in Lazada right now. Like I saw uh, fake 8 reales which is a Spanish coin. There are also fake US silver coins there but just recently even those uncommon silver coin like the one piece of heroes silver coin from 1961 to 1969 has a fake version already. As one of the collectors says, to prevent this type of coins being circulated on the community, stop buying these coins. I bought three just to see how it looks like and also so that I could share these things to you. The thing is that person is right if no one is buying fake coins then no one will create fake coins 
Again, fake coins are different from altered coins. Altered coins are legitimate coins that some people change some details on it. Like there are 1905 uh, one piece of coin that was changed into 1906. But most numismatists still consider this type of coins as a fake coin because obviously it's not a real 1906 coin. There are a lot of people who are doing that with the 2006, 2007, and 2008 type piece of coin. I haven't seen an altered 2005 one piece of coin, but I heard that there are also people who are doing altered coins for the 10 piece of 2007 and 2009. For altering the current circulating coins, this is an act punishable by law. So be sure not to do that. And if you have this type of coins, please avoid posting it on your social media because I haven't heard someone being apprehended but if someone started to investigate this and they saw that you have this type of coins or if someone reported you you will have a problem for it another type of alteration that is really common right now is about the BSV series 10 peso most example of this alteration is when the brass part of the coin is either rotated or flip this won't happen on the mintage because obviously they are minting this as a whole so it won't be reversed or rotated if you look into the 10 peso commemorative coin of Mabini you will see that the whole image is minted as a whole of that coin they don't mint the inner part and the outer part of the coin as a separate one so this type of coins are altered or deconstructed and again this is also punishable by law so basically this type of illegal activities are starting to enter most of the coin collection groups that's why i'm trying to create this video and warn everyone especially the new collectors not to do this because again ignorance of the law is not an excuse so i hope that you learned something from this video and if you're not yet a subscriber be sure to subscribe and push the notification bell so that you will be notified for all of my upcoming videos if you like this video please press the thumbs up button and please share it on your facebook account so everyone will learn something about this video and if you have any comments suggestions recommendations or questions about philippine coins and coin collection as a whole be sure to put that on the comment box below that's all for now thank you and god bless Thank you.